and welcome back. We are in Wellington in Village Park and this is the show that we are filming today. We did a live and we are also filming this one. It's not going to be a live, obviously you can tell. And uh, this one's going to be uh, showing everything already set up. The, the live was the pre-setup and getting ready and this one's the show itself. And like we said, it is this weekend only. And it is, uh, today is February 17th, 17th and, 18th. and 18th, Saturday and Sunday yes. tomorrow. However, this video is going to be released next week. Yes. But we are making history because this is the first time ever in the Wellington uh, area that this show, an orchid show, is taking place. We really, really recommend you watch that video, you know, about the vendors setting up. Some of them were already, like, set up, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. We spoke to a couple of uh, vendors, and uh, anyway, uh, we window shopped, and we have a list. Uh, yep. And we Let's have hope that to, the plants are still there. We yeah. made it here. I think it's like around 10 something. So we'll see if uh, we do manage to get those plants. If not, you're going to have to stay tuned. So stay tuned. Follow us. And yes. And let's, let's find hope. out what we are going to purchase. Yeah. Um, anyway, Love let's do it. Channel. Let's do it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank no, you. No, that's fine. <laughs> How was that? Gracias. Gracias. All right. <laughs> we are legit. We Official. are in it. Awesome. Oh, so yes, it's different than when it was here um, setting up. Look at the wall of wow, the orchids. wall is finished. Beautiful. Beautiful. And here we have Mike. Mike is one of the organizers, and we spoke to him. Uh, in the live video, this is Orchid uh, Nursery Tango Roots. Tango Roots Orchid Nursery. He's out of Latsahatchee and he's got beautiful plants. Look at these pots. Yes, I want to ask him about these pots. Awesome pots. Look at these. Yes, I nice. was looking at these when we did the live. Yeah. Um, I want to give you a bird's eye view of the show. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Josh from the Orchid Den said, we, uh, I look like the Lion King, right? Yes. <laughs> Holding the tripod. <laughs> Here we are, Tangled Roots. I have a question about that pottery area right here. These pots are all handmade by my friend Mortis, who's a local pottery that's just starting out. So this is her Instagram. So if you guys have Instagram, follow her. Art of Dindy. She's just started out. She does a lot of handmade pots. It almost looks like leather. Yes. Beautiful. It's her, she puts her Spanish twist on all her pots. And this is probably by far my favorite one. Yes. Oh yeah, man. Wow. Seriously, it does look it like looks, it would be le leather. She pays attention to detail when yes, she yes. makes them. Absolutely. She also doesn't charge a whole lot, so it's no. a very affordable pot. Yes, yes it is. Um, hold on one second. This is some more of her artwork oh, that she does. Very wow. pretty, very pretty. Very Ooh, nice. I like that she puts the earrings yeah. on there, yes. And then the detail to the monstera leaf that she also does. Yes, yes. 
She also does lily pads. Wow. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. These are uh, ideal for telumnias. Well, pretty much everything, right? Yep. Boba films. You can, you can grow them however. She also drill, drills the two holes so you can mount directly in the middle. Nice. So you can either mount like this or flip it over and put a set of hangers in and hang it like this so you can always see the bottom of the artwork. Nice. Or just hang it as wall art. Or, Thank you guys. or yep. just hang it as wall art. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. nice. I like it. So Very here's much. another one of her pots that she does. Very pretty. Beautiful work. Beautiful, Beautiful work. And she's down here too? Is she close by you? Yeah, she lives in Royal Palm Beach, Florida. Her potting studio that she works out of is local also. Okay. This is some of the pots that come out of her or her potting studio. Wow. That's more for wow. an indoor plant. If you flip on the inside, you see there's no holes right here. Um, that's a new technique that they're starting to make where it's supposed to look like it's hovering with the ripples on the bottom. Yes. And it's supposed to look like it's elevated off the ground. Yes, yes. Very nice. So in case you didn't watch the live video last night, we encourage you again to watch it. Mike is one of the organizers, Pan Waters and Mike. Mike, I forgot your last Sands. name. Sands. Uh, so Sands. He's, he's the organizers to this uh, historical, you know, that we're making history. Yes. You know, first time ever uh, an orchid festival takes place in the city of Wellington. Already? So Thank awesome. You. We'll Thank see you, you again, Thank Mike. You so Thank much. you. Very well. Our uh, friend Josh from the Orchid Den with customers. And um, here we are with uh, Crawl Smith with their beautiful, beautiful cat layers. And what do we have, Vicky? Yes, yes, Vicky. She was telling me that I should uh, get closer to the tag or the tag closer to me. So, there you go. Are you happy? <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful flower. It is beautiful. Is this one? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Very nice, very nice. These are the same. Oh, these, these are the combination colors we like. Yes. Yeah, nice. We have here the, the nice people from Carl Smith. Thank you, guys. Uh, we have here uh, Heaven Gates, right? Yes. Yep. They have to be. Yep. And this again is a uh, soul hybrid from uh, Smith. It's a Smith hybrid. Oh, it smells so good around here. It does. Here. It does. Man. Oh, wow. Tell us again, really quick, about the Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate is one of our best red or the, it is the best flower red flower catlia in the AOS history has the most highest awarded flower in the AOS red flower catlia in the AOS history um, it is our proprietary hybrid our proprietary clone um, it is one of my boss's favorite flowers it's absolutely gorgeous it has a very very slight fragrance in the morning but most of the time it doesn't have any fragrance at all um, yeah I just I absolutely love how dark and beautiful this dark burgundy ish flower is and uh, yeah one of my favorites. It's very, very vigorous. It'll flower two to three times a year, depending on culture and stuff. I even know of somebody in Trinidad that flowers at four times a year because of wow. they're so close to the equator, they constantly have a growing season. So they never have to go through like a dormancy. Yeah. So they constantly just grow and grow and grow and flower. Nice. Lucky them. They can yeah. enjoy it. Very vigorous hybrid. Wow. Yeah. It becomes like once a season. You can yeah, have exactly. it every, every, every three months. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Thank you. All right. Thanks for that information. We'll see you again. Thank Thanks. You. And here we have. Hi, How are you? New fellow YouTubers. I yes. love it when this happens. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good. How are you, honey? Have you look great. Nice. Watch her channel. 
Thank subscribe you. to her channel. Our We're all in this more. together. Yes. yes. We sure are. How are you guys doing? Making yes. you look pretty. Thank you. you Always. Too. Very nice, isn't she? Always. <laughs> Always. I know. Where's your better half? We're He's. Wow, he went inside really fast. He's like, bang. <laughs> yes. Here, here he is with the oh, raffle. Oh, there he is over there. Oh, there, there he is. He is. We'll yeah. So this is nice. You get one ticket when you walk in. You pay for your entry um, um, to this beautiful show. You get the ticket. You fill it out. And you put it in any of these little pots here to see if you, buy, uh, if you win. And if you want additional tickets, you just buy additional tickets here. It's like betting, right? Yes, right? <laughs> great. How are you? You're doing a great job. Such a fun time here today. Yes. It's so much fun. The people are buying raffle tickets. Yes. They're taking good chances. They have cool Look at this. air conditions, nice music, beautiful lighting. Yes. Everyone is having a good, good time. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. The setup ended up awesome oh here. I, I tell you, the people are coming from Fort Lauderdale and Miami. They told me we drove up from Pembroke Pines this morning. What excitement for Wellington. I know. What excitement. I know. I'm so happy. I, I, I said last night, this is not life. This is a video that is going to be You're released gonna, next yeah. week. Yeah. But I'm saying we're making history. This, this is, is the first time you. ever. My husband, I woke up at 4.30, I says, John, get up. He says, let me go to the bathroom. I says, coffee is up. You're going to see some of all of it. What you shot, what Nelson shot, what Blanca shot. And, you know, Nelson's going to be back on Sunday with Teresita. Right. I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry. Sergio. Sergio. That's okay. She's Sergio. the star of the show. I only work for her. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I work for. Free kisses but. And whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're going to keep that on the down low. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's out there. It's beautiful. Yeah. So hopefully this is the first of many, many more to come. Yes. And this is it. I, yes. We love it. We're Thank super you. happy. And we featured them in uh, a few videos of ours. And um, she's going to tell us because her father is the artist. Do you do anything yourself? Yes, I help him with the maintenance. But mostly it's the dad, so all the both sides, they um, made by Hiko. And I would say Hiko is the real Eastern yeah, Mary. So the story, the story of the Hiko is that he's from uh, Okinawa, Japan, and he was a karate master. Um, so his Spanish is way better than uh, his English, but yeah, of course Japanese number one. So um, yeah, so then my dad, he will do all his own as a hobby, and then we have like thousands and thousands of bonsai at home, so I told him to do that. I think um, you should put it out there for the people, you know? So um, yeah, and then he's been creating all these plants, like he, all the plants is has been touched by my hands, so they're very special. Um, yeah, and then if you have any questions, you should ask my dad. So, um, he's very knowledgeable. He's very I see some of them that tells you the age. Actually, all of them, I like that you have them how old the plant is. Like, for instance, this one, Pogamilia. Exactly. Um, the 
What is what is he doing here? Because I see I see an orchid. Nice. You said he speaks Spanish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hola, maestro. <laughs> ¿Cuántos años vivió en el Perú? 25 años. Está. 25 años. Yeah. ¿En Lima? Ah. Sí. Yo estuve en Lima. Sí. Sí. Very nice. Very nice. ¿Y cómo eh, empezó con, con sus plantas? ¿Cómo fue una inspiración? No, eh, eh, yo sé que su hija dijo que era un hobby, pero ¿cómo es que empezó su hobby? Mi abuelo gusta planta. Ah, sí. Entonces, nosotros chiquititos, siempre mirando plantas, cómo sembra, cómo cuida, así. Mi, mi abuelo dice, mire, este, cómo, este, cómo, cómo cuida. Así aprende. Así. Entonces, se inspiró. Le encantó y siguió la tradición de su abuelo. Muy bien, muy bien. You want to say it in English? Um, <laughs> so he was inspired by his grandfather. He would watch him with the plants and um, he would teach him this is how you do this, this is how you take care of that plant. And then from there, his inspiration um, came for his love of the bonsai. And, uh, and here he is. He continues with his beautiful plan. He's been nice. He's been bonsai for over 50 years now. Yeah, you wow. can tell by the labels wow. here. Yeah. yeah. Look at this one. All these bonsai. 30 years old. 30. And we know because we have bonsai as well. We yes. know how long yes. it takes for you to get the roots. The yep. root system, the trunk. And uh, there is um, a way that you, you you end up having this type of size of uh, the plant because you have to keep moving them from the plant until you decide that that's the, the we, trunk size. We pot it yes. every year or a couple of years. Right. And then it depends on how you want the size of the, the trunk. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Nice. And Hobby, thanks so much. Thank we'll see you again. Always. You're a hardworking man. Yes. Hardworking young lady here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Judeli's orchids. Look at this beauty. Oh, that's right? beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? Um, the tag is right here. Four colors crossed with Gigantia Alba. Okay. Look at this beautiful fowl. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at this beautiful plant here. Yeah, this is um, a dendrobium. his wife and they have a nursery down in Homestead and we have to make a few beds. 
um, they have beautiful flowers for you can see in other YouTubers' uh, channels. But we had a question on this one. Uh, 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 so what do we have here? This is, this is one of the bar. This is one of the varieties we have in our, in our greenhouse in Homestead. Yeah, like you said before, yeah, we can, our location is in Homestead and, and 21060 from Avenue. And we're a local, we just started this uh, business uh, three years ago now. So, and we started enjoying the, the orchid show uh, uh, two years ago now. Nice. This is a nice specimen here. Yeah, this is some of the specimen we always have in our greenhouse yeah. down south in Miami. Yeah, yeah, and, this, and it blooms uh, how often? Uh, once a year? Uh, much? It's like a, once, but it's it's depend on the weather. Sometimes like a day flower in three times a year. You never have a plant. Sometimes it's a little bit weird. It's depend on the temperature and that's what. A minimum of once a year, but uh, it's, uh, suddenly they start flowering. What, uh, which other plant can you uh, pick out, you know, when... Susie, 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 Susie. Some of the other plants we have, like uh, Cattleya, that's one of the, some of the plants we always have in our greenhouse. So, uh, if you want to stop by, that's one of the ones we always have. It's so, always available. Like a uh, Phalaenopsis, like a uh, Denjolin, like this type. This is a uh, Denjolin. It's a... Uh, Avery Gold Spin, that's one of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I love the whole thing. Yeah. It's one of these ones. A lot of, a lot of customers uh, buy this. They find the uh, different social media. Beautiful. It has to have some... Uh, uh, it's an animal. Yeah, that's an animal. Yeah, that's an animal. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And I see a uh, Francis Fox here. We have arrangements too, like a right here, and we, somebody want an arrangement, start oh. ahead and we, we do arrangements. Oh, nice. With a common one, common artist, we do a lot of so we're going to go around. Yes. Thank you so much for stopping. Oh, I see. Yeah, like I said, we have a lot of different uh, personnel. Yeah, it's one of the other ones we have in our greenhouse. So this one, that's the... That's the Dendrobion for Mary. Oh, the for Mary. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. This beauty is. It is. What a specimen. Yeah. With the pot and everything. That's yeah, it's already it's, uh, getting rooted in the pot. So you don't have it. just going to hang it in the tree or whatever. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Concidiums. And this again, we were trying to read the tag, and uh, it's a little bit hard to uh, say the name. That's a Tosca Rincostale Gigantia. Yep, beautiful, very nice. And then, uh, beautiful. So, thank you so much, Juan Carlos. We're gonna make it to your greenhouse. Thank you, too. Thank you for your time, Tia. Thank you for the video. Thank you for supporting us too. It helps a lot to bring more customers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your name again? Sergio. Sergio. Vicky. Oh, Vicky Slides. Oh, Vicky Slides. Yeah, I'm going to follow. I'm going to search and follow. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. First official purchase. First purchase of the day. Yes. And we got this epidendrum. That's the belly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Killed another flower. We're even now. Yeah, I, I did one. We got uh, this columnia. Yeah. Beautiful. And this is a gift from Juan Carlos and uh, 
his wife. Thank you so much, Juan Carlos. And don't forget, if you're in the Miami area, there's a homestay. And we're going to post that information. So, uh, let's get done. In homestay. They, they don't have shipping yet. But perhaps they're going to have shipping someday. And if you do want to go to their nursery, please call and make an appointment. We are here. And these people are in the neighborhood, okay? They're just down the road, and they're Haverland Nurseries. And we have two uh, young people here. Yes. You want to introduce yourselves for our channel, Big Things Lights? I'm uh, Wyatt Richardson. I'm a nursery manager for Haverland Nurseries. Yes. Yeah. Keely Haverland, nursery owner of Haverland Nursery. Very nice. Can nice. you tell us about your plants? Yeah, everything we have here today, we uh, we obviously went with tropical plants, uh, shade plants mostly. But, uh, our nursery grows a little bit of everything, even native plants. But uh, yeah, we brought a lot of our rare stuff, uh, such as anthurium, some elephant ears, philodendron, a lot of aeroids essentially. Um, some of the anthuriums I brought were grown from seed, so they're quite old and uh, takes a while to grow them, very slow, deep shade. This is anthurium brownie eyes and species types for seal in the back. And some philodendron. This one's catching my eye. Yeah, it's philodendron lemon lime. It's a bit of a climber. Uh, it branches a lot. It falls out. It does well indoors. Bright light. Yeah, yeah. It's a good one for indoors. As long as you have bright light. Like it's consistent moisture. Is this a Hoya Yeah, that is Hoya Carnosa Chelsea. So that variety has more of like um, a saucer uh, circular leaf. You said what? Hoya. Hoya? <laughs> Hello, Hoya. Because I love Hoya. Oh, Look yeah. at this. Man. Yeah, Look the, at regular, uh, the regular species, Hoya carnosa, has more pointed leaf. Chelsea has more of that heart shaped kind of circular leaf. Beautiful name for beautiful plants. Chelsea. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with this plant. Lemon nice. Lemon. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, some of the vanilla beans. This is a very good one. From oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that'll make actual like vanilla flowers and beans yes. if you pollinate it. Yes. Beautiful. Nice. Some different varieties. This is um, a unique uh, dikia. Uh, it's called Naked Lady. It's the only spineless dikia in the world. Um, usually they have a lot of really nasty thorns oh, on them. Yes. Uh, this one grows completely spineless. That's a, a unique one. It'll get out a foot tall, about a foot very slow and what kind of uh, flower comes out um it makes like a like a tight little flower in the center um like it's uh, related to bromeliad so when it flowers it dies but okay. it'll make pups off the side um it, i've never seen one flower yet oh, so okay. you know, being okay. that it's so slow you know maybe one day we'll see it die it's not at, really showy this is beautiful mm -hmm. look at the leaves here that's uh bromeliad uh Varicia nova so it'll get it'll get sizable too. It'll get about a foot and a half wide and about a foot and a half tall. And it puts out a yellow flower spike, a real tall yellow oh, slender beautiful. flower spike. Beautiful. That's my father's favorite color, yellow. <laughs> and I love yeah, this. Very clean. Highly uh, silver baby tears. It trails really dense and mats, almost kind of like moss. It likes growing in that kind yes. of habitat. High uh, humidity. It likes clinging onto surfaces if you let it. Beautiful. We've got Beautiful. the midnight ginger down there, which is also something you don't see very it's, uh, often. Very rare. It's a uh, Alpinia oh. uh, milesianum. It's a midnight ginger, all black leaves, and it gets a yeah. pinky white coneflower out of the soil. Oh. Beautiful color on the leaves. Beautiful. Very nice. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. All right, guys. Thank you Thank so you so much. much. Yeah, no I'm going to keep your card. By. We're going to put it on our channel. Awesome. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. Here. Uh, this is Accent, Accent Orchids. Orchids. And if you haven't watched our video uh, at uh, 
uh, the Florida Botanical Garden. Watch that video. Watch the video uh, when we went to Venice. And also um, the other one was where we bought the Dendrobium that we bought from Ruth. And there she is. Hi there. Yep. You made this arrangement? Wow. <laughs> Under <Yes>. the light. <laughs> Goodness. Yes, I made that. Very nice. Wow. I, 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 I love this basket and the arrangement. Is this from the fellow that was in Venice uh, and he does... I had that before. He, oh, okay, um, okay. Yeah, you know who I'm talking him. about, yes. yeah. I didn't get it from him, but this is he makes one similar. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. I like how you put I made the, this one and I made that one right there. I like wow. that you mixed the orchids with the ferns. Yeah. That yeah. gives uh, people ideas, you know, that you don't only have to have just the orchids. You can mix it in, yeah. make an arrangement. Yeah. So, I like to do them. Very pretty. And I've got it. I made it so that they're individual. Yes. So you can take them out of the basket. Yes. When they when they quit blooming or something, you right. can take them out. Oh, okay. Good. That's what I. And I was then take them separate, and yes. then get some more, and you can put some more in. Right. Just Great take idea. the moss, the small off, yes. and wrap it around the other plants you're going to put in. Right. Right. Nice. But you can water it in there. Good. You can have it inside or outside. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that does actually sit. Oh, okay. Like that one over there is sitting down. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very pretty. Nice. Nice job, Ruth. Any new thing today that we have? I was going to see? ask. Yes. Oh, have you seen these picture plants? Let's see. They're not orchids. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Wow. wow. These are picture plants, and th this is a Miranda. Oh my God! That's a, wow! It's like a trumpet almost. <laughs> yeah. But those are some pitcher plants. Wow. Nice. And they can find this in your in your nursery. Mm -hmm. And these are, and these grow well with my orchids. Oh. The only thing is you can't fertilize these when you fertilize your orchids because okay. these take cure water. Oh. Okay. They don't okay. like fertilizer. Okay. Okay. So, what's the best stuff you have today? What is the best plant that you would say, you know, take this? <laughs> the best one. Well, I tell you, the best, one of the best things right now, and a lot of people have them, but if you don't, you should get one, is uh, Maxillaria tenifolia. Uh, I have both the red one and they have the other one, the yellow version. Yes. And it smells like coconut. Everybody should have at least one of them in their collection, whether it be the red or the yellow or both. Both. Um, but you can see, like, I have them in baskets and stuff. Yes, and you do. Are, and these are going to bloom this spring. They haven't started blooming yet. These haven't, but they will bloom this spring. They're all blooming size. And so the yellow one smells like coconut too? Yep, it sure does. Same as the red one does. Ah. What they did is I, I put it on the inside. They got in in a seed yeah, when they yeah. when they made them, they got a yellow one and they cloned it. I put a pure clone. So now they all come out. So they have cloned this. That's a Yamada clone and they that's how you have all this yellow. Beautiful yellow. But it smells like coconut. And everybody should have that. They should have a sherry baby, which is a chocolate orchid. You can have your own mounds bar. Exactly. All you need is just put a little almond on top of your set. <laughs> then you have an almond joint. Yes. yes. And a yep. lot of love. Yes. All you need is yes. love and yes. orchids. Yes. Yep. Always, always. <laughs> but we've got different stuff here. Like these are, um, these are Arangus bilobus. They get little white flowers. Just like that picture here? Just like here. Okay. They, um, they're they grown off the um, east coast of Africa. Okay. And uh, these are Angrecums. Those are going to be fragrant. And they get that little flower here off yes. these. These are leafless orchids. Oh, wow. 
See, these are the leafless orchids here. They don't have any leaves ever. They just look like oh little fruit. Oh, my roots. God. And they're going to have flowers that look like this. That's interesting. Mm. Wow. Off of there, just all little leaves. Very interesting. I didn't know that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And those will never get leaves. That's very interesting. Wow. All right. We'll try to make it to the other side. Yeah, make it to the other side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good seeing you again. Thank you. Again, this is Accent Orchids. Guys, right here we have Vina Planters, Sarah, and her husband is camera shy. So <laughs> but, um, we met them in uh, at the Tamiami Inter yes, uh, International uh, Orchid Festival, and we love their product. We bought uh, a, a hanging basket, and and we love it. You yeah. know, and and the thing with it is is uh, it comes with the hangers. It's durable. And it's recy recy from recycling. 100% right? yeah. yeah. recycled yeah. polypropylene. Right. Very nice. That was very important to us that it had to be 100% recycled, not 5%, not 10%. It's 100% recycled. Okay. So we're actually here with um, Backyard Blooms, who is actually one of our wholesalers. So they are selling the planters. And this is Natalie. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi. Hi. This is Vicky Slides. It's a, a YouTube channel. I hope you don't mind being in oh, our video. Okay. Yeah. And we met him at uh, the Tamiami International uh, Orchid Festival. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we bought a uh, basket. We loved it. Yes. And we know the story. They went whole, wholesale. And, and you have the product. Yes. And that's one of the reasons why we're here. So um, they called me and they said we want three more, and I was like, I know just the place. <laughs> yes. So everybody loves the product. Um, you know, nicely made. There's other people that are doing. Yes. Um, um, so not, I would say not exactly the same. Um, maybe similar, but this is really, really nicely done. The design um, and the packaging and, and everything. everything. Like if you a gift it to someone. The packaging is amazing as well, um, and the colors are amazing. So, yes, they yeah. are. They're Earth like, colors. Yes. Yeah. Very neutral. Earth. Yes. I'm a very yes. neutral kind of person, so those were what I gravitate towards. I love them. And if you're an orchid person, you want your orchid to be the full thing. Yes. For me, I wanted something that would blend in. I was shocked that our white ones did so well because I figured people would want more of the neutrals, but our white was actually the best seller. Always the so. Always. And the size is really nice because yes. you don't have to keep repotting. You know, like with the smaller containers, like the smaller ones that you'll see around. Um, this is a really nice size that, you know, most of you know, you don't have to do a lot of repotting. And let me ask you, you sell them um, in shows and you have a uh, sh uh, just, just, just at the shows just for right the shows. now. Yes, okay. just at the shows for right now. Do you guys have a nursery or a um, we actually do greenhouse? It, we, we actually do it out of our backyard. Okay. okay. So it's by appointment, but we do most of the work. Okay. Nice, good nice. Good to know, good to know. She All was right. actually our neighbor at Mount's Botanical Garden. Uh, oh, last, okay. Last weekend? Last weekend, yeah. Okay, <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Good, yeah. good. Nice. That, you know, you're selling them? Yes, it's a really, really um, <laughs> nicely made. Oh, no, they're it really is. Very good quality. Yes. Yes. And who designed it? So I designed it. Um, I've been working on them for 10 years. Um, wow. My background is actually in industrial design. So I went to school for industrial design. I do all the 3D modeling. We prototyped them with 3D printing. We CNC routed them. We made them laser cut them out of wood. Um, and this is kind of where it brought us to. Um, and my husband, who's camera shy, is actually the one who's been pushing me and pushing me. Um, I do accounting for a living. so. Um, it took me a long time to finally commit to it, yeah. uh, just because the upfront tooling cost is a commitment. Um, but we launched in January at Tamiami, where I met you guys, and we already sold out. So That's good news. So, wait a minute. Yeah. Taxes? 
We owe in taxes. Maybe we should uh, talk. <laughs> Maybe it's sales tax. Yes, everybody put the wholesale expenses. <laughs> Sorry, I have to pay the man. Um, but yeah, so we sold out. We have our next batch of 1,000 on their way. And then um, we're actually just pulling the trigger on our 6-inch. So if you do want a smaller size, we do have the 6-inch coming in about three months. And uh -huh. these are all made in the USA? They are not right no. now. We okay. actually tried. I actually got a job at an injection molder to learn the process, and I managed their shop for two years. And when I went to pull the trigger and start doing it, they wanted um, like licensing rights to it. So, And they weren't willing to do 100% recycle because it's a lot of maintenance on the machine. You have to have somebody running it. So my goal is to get my own machine, but they're about a quarter million dollars. Um, so that's really our end goal is to do it ourselves in-house because I know a bunch of people that are ready to jump on board, but we're just working. We just wanted to launch and see how they do and see if people like them, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Nice. Nice. I like them. They're all beautiful, sturdy. And like I always say, um, you can put your orchids or you can put any other plant that you like. We just planted a, a pitcher plant in one of them. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then my husband was like, I want to try it with a pitcher plant. I yes. Like, okay. Yes. So because, you know, we're at an orchid, um, uh, an orchid festival, but there's other plants here. Maybe you do buy uh, orchids and maybe you do buy an aeroid and you can put it in here. It's as not necessarily oh my god I have to just put we that one do yeah. yes 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 so it's good indoor and outdoor yes yes they have little feet so if you don't want to hang them you can oh okay oh yes I feel them here oh, thank okay. you thank you again oh oh where is she at I don't see. oh my god how pretty Oh, that's beautiful. Your daughter makes it, right? Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Very nice. Look, front and back has a design. I love it. They're beautiful. They can be um, purchased um, online or um, uh, at the shows? from Instagram or on the shows. Oh, okay. Okay, let me see okay. it up close. It's, it's on the card, right? It's on the... Yes, it's on, on the, the card. On the card you gave me? It's on the card. Okay, okay. All right, but we'll do this, a close up. And you always have them at the shows that you come yes. to. Oh, I love it. Nice. nice. I love, they're beautiful. Look at the orchid here, it's so beautiful. And then we can do larger ones as well. So let's say a customer says, oh, I want one. Yes. Why do you oh, okay. So that's good yeah. to know that if you wish to have a bigger size, you can call and say, or contact yes. um, via the Instagram, I want a size, um, you know, you can say what size that you want. This one has the, um, the orchid design here. Nice. I love it. So let's say, you know, you want to have something in play this size, we can also do that. Yes. This is almost like a legal size paper. Almost. Almost. Just a, a, maybe like an inch or so here or there. But it's almost like a legal size paper. We made a decision. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. This again is um, Backyard Blooms. Here we have the one and only orchids in bloom. Like always, beautiful, beautiful specimens. Please watch or all our videos from Orchids in Bloom. The latest one with Pam Waters. Very nice video. Very hardworking woman. She's put together this show along with Mike from Tango Roots.
Guys, look at this. Look at that. So beautiful. What is it? It's the uh, Chom Young surprise. Surprise. Look at this volcano trick. Isn't this beauty? And they are blooming now. We have one. And beautiful blooms. Look at the sea of Phalaenopsis. This is our friend oh, Cocky Mouse. <laughs> Look, old fashioned, it's strawberries. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, you want to have lunch? <laughs> Let's have lunch. This is the lunch. <laughs> and I see something different. Ah, you see? Oh, it's the cocoa white. Mm-hmm. Look. Look how big. Oh, wow. Yeah, the coconut orchid. Can you see there? Oh, yeah, yes. Wow, great idea. Yes. Normally I do the cocoa white because she loves to be in Tokerama. Okay, and the same applies. Once it dries, you there, dip it. Before 100% dry, you need soaking again. It's impossible if it dry, dry. Okay, okay. She don't like, she like to be humid. Only for the coconut. Only for that one. And all the other ones, it does apply. Yes. Okay. I love it. You have a, a beautiful taste and the way that you, you make them and then display them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. For both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And here we are. Xinhua orchids. New kid in town. And this is Nick Pantwater's son. And he's doing a wonderful, wonderful job. He and has he's got orchids more than and orchids. In Hoyas, yes. Look yeah. at this beauty here. Yeah. Look at this beautiful plant here. Mini maxillaria, the oh, yes. orchid in yellow. And Beautiful. Yep. This is beautiful. 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 Yep. It's almost 100% white. It just has a little tiny dot here. Yeah. It's beautiful. What do we have here? Right here. Mm, Sherry Love Galaxy. Beautiful. Nice. Look at these down here. Most of these have spikes right now. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful color. Show the flower really good. It's not a big flower, however, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. And here we have the one and only Nick. Hello there, guys. My name's Nick. Middle name's Sakotai. Um, I'm Pam's son. I got my own booth today at the Wellington International. Let me ask you, um, do you have a favorite here or anything that you want to, like, let people know, hey, this is what I'm featuring? My favorite orchid right now is probably this one right here. It's part of the Vanda family. It's called the Asocentrum. It blooms twice a year and gives these beautiful pink flowers. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is just one plant with all these. Yep, blooms. it has so many flowers. Wow. It's such a small plant. That is a lot of blooms here. Wow. So how is it going for you on this show? We're doing pretty good so far. Nice. Not as good as my mom, but we're getting there. <laughs> good, good. Hey, you know. You're, you're learning taking, from the best. You're taking big steps already. Yep. And that's a good thing. Yes. And you should be proud of uh, your mom, and your mom should be proud of you. Yeah. Like we said, uh, yeah. you know, that's why we did the last video that we did with your mom. You know, such a hardworking woman, and uh, you're following her footsteps. You know, yeah. I hope awesome. to be just like her one yeah. day. Yeah. Good. So Good. this is actually your second show, right? Officially, or uh, Tamiami? I've done other lots of shows for oh, her. I, I know. But under but, this booth, yeah, it's my first time for this yeah. booth. He's doing great. Yeah. My booth is Qinghua uh, Orchids. Good. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you guys. At a young age you're starting and you're 17, you're, yeah. you're 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 headed the right direction. Yeah. Very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. Your mom taught you well and you you will excel. Thank you. Awesome. We wish you the best. Thanks. Thank I'll see you. you again. So yep. happy Thanks. so happy for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here we are. At Ritter's. At Ritter's. And like you saw in our video, uh, the last video we did at, uh, in, in the Orlando, uh, the Greater Orlando Orchid uh, Show or Festival. Yes. Uh, they had these baskets. The green baskets. You have green mix uh, and match baskets. One plant, $10, or three plants, $25. And then on the red, you have the red baskets, one plant for 15 or three for 40. And there's different, uh, there's a variety of plants here, all orchids. Look at this. They even, uh, they even oh, have yes. the label this for this color. And it's already here. blooming. It's already blooming. Oop, he's a little bit tangled. tangled up. <laughs> yeah, nice. Very yeah. So nice. one plant, fifteen dollars. Three plants, forty dollars. Great deal. Yes. And I see a lot that are in bloom. This is like a microphone. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. And we have Cynthia in there with a customer. Yeah. And we have Cynthia in an interview. Uh, in that video from uh, the Greater Orlando Orchid Show. She also has blue, blue baskets also here. Oh. Yes. Oh, you mean the pots? Uh, no, these um, blue baskets. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. And you see the prices? Um. We'll, we'll go around. Yes. I saw some plants that are priced at $15. And, um, Look at oh, the, wow. these pots. They also uh, have the pots. And uh, the brother designs them and sells them. And this is uh, Ritter Orchids. They're uh, in Central Florida, Kissimmee area. Oh, this is a beautiful plant here. Well, they, they're all beautiful. That's a beautiful oncidium. Let's see, the light off, that looks better. Look at the beauty here. It looks like it's gonna play Brazilian music uh, already, <laughs> right? Beautiful. Samba, right? Can you samba, Vicky? I used to samba. <laughs> if I play the music, you'll dance? Yes. Look at that same video down there. Oh, that's a beauty Isn't there. That that's a beautiful, a beautiful wow. plant. Yeah. Beautiful that color. Is, I have to wait a minute. I have to unhook this uh, thing and get a close up. Yes. Very nice. Yes. It's a beautiful, beautiful symbiotes. I love symbiotes. 
And here's the brother. Here's a designer of those pots. Yeah. Tell us, tell us a little bit more. How do you uh, design the, the pots? It's all digital? It's all digital. It's all in the computer. It's we use a phone battery. Very nice. nice. Very nice. Nice designs. You know. Very hardy. Nice. Very nice uh, yes. product. Uh, what is this blue basket? Yes. We saw the red and the green, but we didn't see the blue. These are the more exotic kind. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The more rare types. I see. Okay. That okay. you don't usually see. Okay. 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 They have different prices, or they're more. Um, the more. Well, different prices. And they as marked. Price. Okay. 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 All right. So each each of them has a different set of prices in each batch. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Beautiful guys. Again, this is uh, Raider Orchids. Here we are in the wonderful world of Smiley. Smiley's world. <laughs> I have this tall guy in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. This is beautiful. That's the Oh, something smells really nice around here. I'm not sure where. The cherry baby? Possible? Yes. 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 <laughs> And here, we saw something last night. As a matter of fact, we saw it at the Greater Orlando Orchid Show. Uh, the first time that I, I've seen that plant, or we've seen that plant, and we loved it. So last night, we put a hold. You still have that plant for me? Are you holding the plant for me? Everybody grab it. I said, that's all, that's all, that's all. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice, thank Mike. you, thank you, thank you so out. much. That's, yeah, you know, it's right there. People grab and it. I couldn't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is the plant, guys. This is the plant. I mean, you tell me in the comments. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, the Take a price. What's the price? Beautiful. Can you see? Can you see? Now better. Better now. Okay. Okay. Look at the spikes. Look at the flowers coming up. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this yes. now opening up. It's a peekaboo. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, Smiley, if you don't mind, let's talk about the care. Okay. What do I do at this point? Take it home, keep it in this pot? Yeah, keep it there. Okay. They don't get big so fast though. They can slow. This is going to have two bulbs coming. Okay. That's it. Okay. So leave it here until it's like all right. Yeah, like, all there it is. Okay. Yeah. And then at that point, what you do we do? You can move to the bigger, like uh, eight inches. Okay. Not big, big. Okay. And they don't like to be too wet. Okay. And they don't like to be too dry. Okay. So keep moist, evenly moist is the key and shady area. Okay. A shady More area. on the shade side. Yep. Like let's say like forty percent. Like the penopsis, you go shade. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can go that. Like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. And keep it moist like yeah. a colonopsis. Yeah, the, all the leaves gonna turn yellow. Okay. All gonna be drop off. Something like a catacetum. Correct. Yeah. Okay. But they don't take like this one cannot be dry out. 
you know, you have to be so right. So moist, yeah. the dropping of the leaves is like a, a catacetum. <laughs> However, the care is not right. like a catacetum. The, huh? They don't go dormant. They no dormant. Okay. 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 That's the new baby coming home with us. And then the media. Uh, or you can use moss, or you can use bark. Okay, we can mix moss inside, bark outside, so we can erase area, kind okay. of airflow on that. Okay, all right. And I put charcoal sometime on top, so they can oh. put uh, when they have fungus or over wet, they can pull the bacteria and fungus on that. Nice. So that the plant won't get sick. Try to put some charcoal, charcoal that they can pull the toxin out. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. Taking care of our baby. Awesome. Yes. It's time. I can take this time to pay bit. now. All right. I don't need to say. This is JJ. J J and J. Okay. Are you JJ Plants in Instagram? No, I JJ Plants Corp in Instagram. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Let me show you because maybe. Uh, yeah, we have a YouTube channel, so. Oh, you uh, do. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. This is Instagram, Jay, Jay Plants Corporation. Yeah, I think we follow in, in Instagram. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. And nice. what kind of plants do you have? Just orchids or? Um, yes, I grow orchids. Um, I grow hibiscus as a wholesaler. I have a retail store. Uh, I'm actually a grower for Catleas and everything that I'm selling here, I'm a grower of. And, um, I make appointments uh, for my greenhouse and my business uh, store is open from Wednesday through Sunday from 9 to 5. And if they want to do an appointment to go to your greenhouse, how did, how can they contact you? Uh, by Instagram. By uh, Instagram? Can, yeah, Instagram okay. the easiest thing to do. I'm there all the time. Okay. Uh, and uh, the appointments I make it Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but that's mainly it. Um, I've been doing this for many years. I used to work for another company, but then... I started my own and seems like I'm doing great. I mean, I like it. I love it. Good. Congratulations. Thank you. We love Very nice. Look at this King Kong Taiwan right here. And of course, it's not in bloom, but it's a beautiful thing. Wow. What is That's a big size plant. Yes, it is. Wow. Yes, it is. Yeah. And this they're. Is called, uh, this one is um, another Capleya. Blue Hope. This Ball. is the, the white one here or no? This is no. white. That's the picture there. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Nice. And look at that red that one red there. Yes. yes. Very reasonable price. So guys, if you're uh, in this area of South Florida, uh, come and visit uh, J and J and J. J and J Plants Corp. Yeah, we're gonna go around the booth. Oh, look at the beautiful fowls here. You have the epidendrums, you have the dendrobiums. Hello, how are you? These are beautiful, aren't they? Yes. The novelies are always beautiful. Mm -hmm. you know, a bunch of blooms. Yes. You know, for thirty dollars, that's a great, great price. Very nice. Uh, you have these uh, oncidiums mounted up here for thirty-five dollars. It's an excellent, excellent price. And these these files arrangements are just beautiful. Look at him, so pretty. This is beautiful. It's a bromelia. We have a bromelia there, very nice. They kind of got stuck together. Okay. 
Oh, bamboo orchids. You're on Flamingo Road. Yes. Yes, we've been there. Yeah. We used to live in Fort Lauderdale. Yes. We used to go there. Yeah. We moved. Uh, we Hi. moved to Leesburg. Sí. Hola. Oh, ¿Cómo yeah. está? Sí. Gracias. Gracias. Alejandro, you don't mind being in the video? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is Alejandro, one of our most active uh, viewers. Yes. You know, he's you. always commenting. You, know, you guys you are so doing a fantastic job. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, you really so are. much for your support. Thanks. Thank you. And I know you. it's not easy to be driving, like, you know, from, like, we, up and down we, Florida. We uh, yes. like it, but however, you know, it's expensive. Of and, course. Uh, you know, but we, we are lucky. Yes. Love. And, like, it's, Especially when I, we get the feedback from course, you guys, you know. Yes. Like, and I've seen, like, from the beginning of the videos up until now, and, like, the changes. Look, yes. Just look at the equipment. I mean, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you, you so really much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, anything that you can suggest that we can do better? Any suggestions? No, I mean, to be honest with you, you're one of my favorites. And I watch Nelson. You, I mean, Nelson's really my favorite, but you guys are right there with him. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I mean, you so we much. take pride right on, on uh, you know, like we always said, Nelson, Blanca, you know the older YouTubers, and not older in age, right? Okay, of course. but older in they've been doing you know, this for longer than you, right? Yeah. They they were our inspiration. So yeah, yeah. Well, thank you but for everything you. you do. Then you know that 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 shows that we're doing a good job. You know Absolutely. when when people view our our videos and theirs, and you know it's excellent. We learn from we all learn from each other. Oh yeah, basically, for sure. You know? Yes. So. I'm here today because of you guys and Blanca Thank and you. Nelson. I mean, I watched great, all the videos. Nice, great. Nice. Thank and you. What, what did you get? I just got a piece of pork from... Office? Office, yeah. Good. And then and this, this, this tiny dendrobium, which I'm going to mount in here. On this nice. pork? Oh, this oh pork. very yeah. nice. Yeah. How and many, how many plants do you have? Like 400. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, are, we are getting there, but, you know, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. much. Very, nice. Very 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 nice. He is watching our video. Oh, of course. <laughs> awesome. Nice seeing you guys. Thank, Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Nice. That is so nice. You know, it's so rewarding. Um, again, this is bamboo orchid. Close by. Yeah. And we, read, we, we used to go and visit um, this area in Davie. And um, yeah, Flamingo Road, close to 595. They have uh, Flamingo Nursery, which I call it the Disney World of Plants. Yes. And um, also this place, uh, there was the other place uh, that uh, sells bonsai. Very nice, very nice area. And here are our friends from Equa Genera. And um, Look at these beautiful cap layers. Yes. What do we have here? This is on the way, way on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> but it, regardless, it's a beautiful, beautiful plant. What do we have? Uh, let see uh, let's again. see. Oh, they, they have the label on the side. Read it. Sorry, but it's, the label is not a good label. What's the name of this one? This is, uy, uy. I know, I know. Dean <laughs> Chocatleya, Memoria Pipa Garcia Reitos. Oh. ¿Cómo estás? Yeah. You're in video again, okay? Thank you. You met her, we met her at okay, uh, Equa I love, Genera. I love and to do videos. This is my yeah. first show. Oh, it is? My by first yourself. Show. By Congratulations. Yourself. By yeah. myself, by yeah. myself. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Ella es una paisana. She's Cuban. I'm Cuban. Yes. Hello, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with you and with all of them. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yes. So yes. happy. So we so watch. Happy uh, to see you. I'm sorry, sir. Are you, <gasps> we. This is a YouTube channel. A video. You don't mind. If you want, you can. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, so you're, he's you're, my, he's my you're making sure man. we're in that. <laughs> he's my cameraman. Yes. Yeah. 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 Look at this beautiful plant here. 
abrazo para que Cobralia, un Sirion, de Endrobium, ¿ok? ¿Y sí? Gorgoras, Góngoras, eh, Maxiliarias, Bulbo Phylon, Dráculas, wow. Mini Orchis, Mini Orchis, and Arrows too. Yes, yep, sí, yep. which they specialize yeah. in, in this. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful things. All right. Thank you so much. It was so nice, much. Seeing, nice you seeing you again. Nice seeing you again. We'll yes. see you soon, okay? We'll see you over there in the other show. Yes. I hope so. Yes. I hope so. Take care. Thank you. Here is Ophi's. Market supplies, hangers, baskets. Please watch the video at this wonderful place in uh, uh, Homestead, Florida. Beautiful people, great customer service, great knowledge. Carlos knows and loves to teach. Oh, what do we have here? Is it for orchids? <laughs> you want to get one? <laughs> People fertilizer. People fertilizer. <laughs> oh, I just noticed. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> this is Not this one. No. <laughs> that one. Okay. And this is a slow release fertilizer for orchids. This is a slow slow release of sugar for humans. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Orchid. Again, watch our videos from this place and all the shows that he goes to. And here we have our friends and fellow YouTubers, Melissa from Melissa Loves Orchid and Orchids 365. How are you doing, guys? Hello, how are you? Are you enjoying the show? Yes, we are. It's a I, show. I've seen you run off with some bags. Yeah, yeah we're going to wait for a haul video. Yeah. yeah. We have yeah. to actually bring a cart, like somebody brings a, a cart wagon. Here. A wagon. Yeah. 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 I do. A wagon. It's necessary. It's part of the and, outfit. And yes. I'm, I'm sorry, but who's that guy there? Uh, you know, I don't know. He's a security. He's security. Seguridad. Okay. Seguridad. <laughs> Wow. What new products we have? I I've seen it. am excited about this one. That's yes. Pretty. Yes. Because it took me a long time to get that design the way that I wanted it, and the best is yet to come. <laughs> oh wow! Nice. Yeah. And I also did a change to my teapots. Oh, oh you put uh, on the bottom. So yeah, I changed the bottom. And I made the holes a little bit smaller because I want my customers to have a matching set. So oh, that okay. way, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I did that. Neat. That's neat. So those are my new products. Good, good, because the media, if you don't use the big uh, yes. barks. Exactly, they, yeah. so I wanted yeah. it to be, you know, to have for both. Good, good. And you have these that look like little... Um, the little Vanda baskets. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I grow different things in there. And grow a little bit and then everything is prepared so that you can run your wires okay. everything Good. has holes and the, these baskets like with the orchid you can run the wire all the way through the bottom okay. yeah. on four sides yeah we so bought they're, this one they're from ready you to go in Tamiami this one are you happy with it yes <laughs> yeah. did it work you put the did you hang it uh, I, ha I put an oncidium with uh, oh, okay. sphagnum moss I don't know oh I, I don't know about oncidium I, and sphagnum I know, moss I know yeah I, I've been saying to I, the mine course, ended up bare root but i have it where i water it too but i don't have to worry you know because the sphagnum moss at least in my area because we're in different areas right the, my oncidiums don't like it yeah uh, and they'll I'm, sell it to you in sphagnum but i'm not lucky with oncidiums no they it's don't not die, you but they don't no no. no i know it takes yeah, yeah don't be hard on yourself because oncidiums are not you know the easiest to but once you get the hang of it with me they ended up bare bare root almost okay so bare root in i the would basket? try it i would try it 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or you can mix something in there if it makes you feel more comfortable. Are you underwater or overwater? So you know, you know what I mean? Right. I, I'm in between. You're I in like between. I water twice a week. Right. So and something that you know, but if you have yeah. it in here, you don't have to worry about it getting mushy, but right. spinal moss can be dangerous. Right. right. So, I don't know. <laughs> and this is, yeah, this is cute. This is so cute. That's the one in loving memory of my grandpa that was a beekeeper. So everything in my bee line is in his memory because he's the orchid collector. He started it all. He fueled the passion in my mom and in me. So these mean a lot to me. I get very sentimental when people come and buy them because we start talking about bees and beekeeping. And, right. And I, nice. I don't know. It's just... Nice. And your mom has a lot of plants? She has a lot of orchids. I, I might do a blooming video next week because oh, okay. I've been promising her. And you know, the Caleas, they don't stay open long. So right. she has the specimens in a very big, big pots. So yes. maybe I'll pass by and quickly show you guys what yes, she's growing. Yes. Yes. Nice <laughs> to see what her, her collection has. Nice. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. That's a big guy back there. The tambor. I forgot, oh, I forget to show yeah, the tambor. Okay. This is what I call the tambor. So what I do with this is the dendrobiums, the ones that we grow, you know, the common ones. The dendro I have them with yeah. lava rocks in the bottom and I have four colors. Didn't now you, you can do put a, it on the, video, so, like an arrangement. Didn't you do a video on this? Yes, yeah, I, I did. I've so, seen it. Yes, I've seen it. that's what it, I use it, it for. It looks smaller on the video. That's and a big... I know when you see things in person and then the Laelias too, because of the spikes, I use the same system. Lava rocks for some things have resulted very well. You just have to be careful, like trial and error. You know, you don't do it too while you do it to one, you kind of, so that's, that's the tambor that you saw in the video, but you're right in the video. You cannot appreciate the size. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but once you put the plant, then you see yeah. it. But in, in person, it looks... It is big. <laughs> yeah. It is. yeah, it is the biggest thing we've ever made, pretty much. And this is new also? The new Phoenicias, um, that's one of my oldest items, but I'm playing with colors now. Oh, okay. So usually I make them in these two colors. Okay. People like to put them indoors. It's like a modern twist to the traditional Japanese um, neo, uh, the falcata, the neo Phoenicia pots. So. Nice. Awesome. All right, thank you again. And remember, you can find uh, Roxy uh, in Etsy, correct? No, no just more? on my, no, oh, I'm that's why. just you my, in, yeah. yeah, my webpage. So just Instagram. No, I, I have, um, you just go to orchestra365.com. I have my own uh, page. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. I don't know if, it, if the font permits. So on the back, on the back, it has a QR also, and it has the... Great. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We'll see you again. We have a uh, husband and wife, Lady Vanda Orchids, husband and wife, Ernesto and Serena. And Serena, we have a video, uh, the Tamiami video, uh, and she, she, she's so experienced and knowledgeable, and uh, it's a beautiful, we have to make a, uh, another video with just Serena. Okay. My lovely. <laughs> Look at the beautiful uh, Mokaras and the Bandas. And last night we were window shopping and we love this plan. If you watch the Tamiami uh, International Orchid Festival, you know that I love this uh, Francis Fox. So last night I put it aside. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a husband and wife thing. I know you're camera shy, but you know, <laughs> like, yeah, you guys make a beautiful couple. Thank you. Yeah. So like I was saying, uh, we like the Francis Fox and I put it last night, we were window shopping and they had left and I made a phone call and I said, yeah, I, and then he put it back there taking care of the plan for us. Yeah. So Serena, again, uh, care of that. What do I do now? I, we take it home. Mm -hmm. How do I care from that point on? What is your preferred um, watering schedule like? So heavy I, I water. Or? I water twice a week. Okay. You know, especially in summer. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Yeah, so I have pretty much an area for vandas, mm -hmm. uh, then catleas, and then phalaenopsis, and then droviums, and oncidiums. So Francis Fox, I'm going to take yours out so people can see. Francis Fox is a hybrid, hybrid between catleas and the Schomburgia family. Okay. So that's why it's called Myrmecophilia Francis Fox. So it's an intergeneric hybrid. So being that it's from the Schomburgia family, it can handle more light than most other catleas. Um, we actually grow these guys with our vandas. So that's, why it's, that's actually why it's in a basket because it gets watered by our watering system every day. And that is okay because it's in very chunky media okay. with well-draining basket. Okay. So the amount of water staying in here is minimal. Okay. If this was in a pot where it's all enclosed, I wouldn't recommend watering it every day. Okay. Um, so that's why I ask, what's your watering situation like? Because two to three times a week in this setup should be perfectly fine. Good. Um, Good. Your newest growth points are this pseudo bulb here, this one here, and I'm looking to see one other one, probably this one, and these two are your newest ones. So if you see these guys getting overly wrinkly, that just means it needs to probably be put with your vandas to be watered a little more often. Okay, okay. But so leave it be, leave it in this basket. I would leave it in until this. Until it's like, you know, they can't fit no more. Yeah. And then you upgrade it in the same, ba a, a bigger basket, but yes. same situation. Yes. With the, with the media. Yes, exactly. Okay. So okay. you want to do orchid bark. So all of our Kaliyas are potted in... Um, large orchid bark, large charcoal, large perlite. So that's like the one inch to one and a half inch chunky pieces. Um, I do mix in a little bit of the smaller, finer uh, bark just to maintain a little bit more moisture. But again, okay. the mix is going to vary depending on your watering habits. You water okay. less and the plant needs more water. You put a finer mix in there. Okay. If you don't, wa if you water a lot, then you want a lot of flow through there, so you're not rotting the base of the pseudo bulbs or the um, the root system. Okay. So this guy can stay in here for a good year. Should be should not be a problem. Yeah. This um, is a fresh mix. Yes. Because yeah. I know you know we. It was just This is how I discovered yeah. the the plant. We saw yes. it at the Tamiami show, and she didn't have it. You know, she just had gotten the the, the plants. Yes. And they so were, these are already started to root. I would give them another few weeks. They're potted kind of deep right now because I wanted moisture to stay in there for it to start rooting and establishing. In another few weeks, you'll start seeing root tips. You can peel back some of this potting mix okay. and expose the rhizome again. Okay. That way it's not staying too wet. Okay. So these are all little tricks that growers use to get established plants established a little faster um, and kind of get them going and growing again. Springtime is the best time to buy bare root plants or, or our winter time, which is kind of like everybody else's springtime, um, is the best time to buy your bare root plants, recent imports, um, divided plants, because they're going to bounce back the fastest. You have a little bit of humidity still. It's not super cold here in, you know, in Florida. It gets cold in central Florida, but it's not freezing cold, you know, in that, in, well, it gets yeah, well, last freezing year, cold for last us. Last year they did, you know, we had, uh, we had temperatures in the 20s, but oh, not wow. this year. Oh, okay, yeah, not okay. This year. It went to yeah. the 30s this year. Okay, so yeah. definitely cold for orchids, but it's not it's not a ice over or a, right. a frost, a, fr a freezing frost or anything like that. Right. So right. definitely something that, again, as you learn and as you collect different plants and as you buy at different times of the year, you notice which plants establish themselves faster, how to kind of push them a little faster to get established in your grow area. So these are all little things that we do to kind of get these plants rooted again and going again so that we do feel confident selling them to customers, especially customers that are a little more uh, versed in orchid growing. It's not a problem. If it's a total newbie, no, I wouldn't be selling them a recently potted or recently divided plant because I, I want people to succeed. So that's my biggest thing. I want people to feel comfortable with what they're taking home and feel successful and, and stay in the hobby long term. Nice. Not be turned off because they killed a few plants. Right, we all have done that. Okay, we all kill plants. Yeah. I kill plants. All the growers here kill plants. We import plants. They die. It happens. You're dealing with nature. It yeah. happens. Yeah. You know, things happen. But yeah. Um, yeah, I want other people to feel confident with what they're growing. So good. That's why all I'm right. so big on education and answering questions. Awesome. Thanks again so no much. No problem. All right. Again, people. 
watch the video, okay? <laughs> Just on Lady Vanda and um, Mr. Ernesto, my husband? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ernesto, yes. I know, but what's the nickname? Oh, Mr. Lady Vanda. <laughs> Mr. Lady Vanda. <laughs> he took my last name. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so Time much. Time to pay. She <laughs> changed. Time to pay. Time to so last but not least, this is Josh from the Orchid Den. I Josh, I love the lights. <laughs> you did a great job. Yes. To make everything just, this is so great. Better. This is yeah. great. More visible, more yes. colorful. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, you sold out a lot. I have. I have. I have sold a lot. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a great show. It's been a, a, a very good inaugural beginning. Yeah. We're not even done yet. No, nice. yeah. Nice. Come back tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. It's been a great show. It it's has. Show. I can yeah. tell. Yeah. I, I can tell by your booth and uh, and yeah. all other booths here. I sold all the Grimada Phylums. Oh my God. Yes, guys. So if you, if you watched the live video, if you didn't watch it, this was full of them. I yes. Mean, it was like, and they're all gone. It's beautiful. Good. All gone. Nice. Nice. So we sold a lot of other stuff. So. You sold a lot of a lot. Yeah. So we'll, we'll restock with, you know, stuff that we've sold from the top, bring it back down, bring it back down, and, um, nice. And we'll continue tomorrow. So. How about your, and I'm sorry to interrupt, how about your cafecito cups? I've got four cafecito cups left. Good! Yeah, Good. yeah so... We, well, who was it, a viewer that said, I got the cafecito, uh, who was that? Um, Sarah? Sarah from Vina Plant, yes. Vina Planters? Uh -huh. Vina yeah. Planters. Yeah. 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 yeah, so nice. they're nice. good. I can't wait to make a larger version for like Cafe Colneche yes. and everything. Yes. So. And a smaller one yes. for the shot. Yeah, the, yeah, the shot. We'll make shot glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and proper cafecitos. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's wonderful. I hope yeah. next year is even better. It, it will oh, be. Yeah. It will yeah. Be. yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's been a good start. So tomorrow will be lots more people, I think. Last, the last count, probably a couple hours or an hour and a half ago, was over 300 people. So we're probably over 400 people for the show. So uh, that'll be really cool. And uh, what is your next show that you're going to be at? My next show is next weekend. Uh, I think it's 24th and 25th. And that is down in uh, Sawgrass and Coral Gables. Oh, so Coral Gables at the um, Sawgrass Nature Preserve down there. And um, I believe uh, there's a, a small admission fee as well, um, if, and free parking, um, but that should be a, a pretty good show. And then you'll be at Orchids in Bloom? Then I'll be in Martin County the first week of March, and then Orchids in Bloom the second week of March, and then I have a week off, and then the last week of March... Uh, I can't remember right now. <laughs> <laughs> but like always, um, they can be purchased. Anything that you have can be purchased. Yeah, How? any of my stuff, you can always uh, go to my website, theorchidden.com. And there's a, you can call me. That's my cell phone number. You can text me. Uh, or there's a, a chat feature on my website as well. Okay. Um, and I usually, if you go to my website, I usually have my next show at the very top of my website. And um, if they purchase via your web page, mm -hmm. it's plants and plants pottery. and my pottery. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I have a lot more pottery, like all of the speckled glaze pots and some other stuff that I'm not really currently able to bring to shows uh, right now. Um, with life and hectic and and getting the farm get up and ready for yes. for a grand opening and stuff like that. So yeah, so you can order a lot more online than actually you see at shows. Yeah. Well, like always, it was a pleasure to see you. Yes, and you guys found some goodies too. Yes, we did. I know, did. I love that. Yes, yes. Yeah, I saw it at Smiley. Yeah. The Lycasties. Last weekend. Mm -hmm. And I never seen it, I didn't know. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's such a gorgeous flower. Yes. Beautiful yeah, Very good. Very, very, very good. 
that's beautiful. Yeah. Thanks again. We'll Thank see you, you again. guys. Yeah, Take care. absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, we come to the end of this video. I have my glasses on, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, we want to thank Pam and Mike. It's been a great show. Don't you yeah. think so, guys? I absolutely. mean, you're the organizers. Let us know. Absolutely. We had a better turnout than we anticipated this uh, today. We were only hoping for about 300 people. We doubled that today. So we had roughly around 750 to 800 people, So, which is super ecstatic for the wow. first show yeah. ever. Um, so hopefully with the rain tomorrow, don't worry, we're don't inside. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're not going to have no rain tomorrow because God is good. Always remember that, Michael. <laughs> so we are here, and like I say, we're all indoor. So we want to thank you, every one of you. We want to thank you all our window. We want to thank you from Thailand, Taiwan, Hawaii. Without you guys, we will not have this show. And we want to thank you, big thank you to all Florida Grower to make the show successful. We are doing this for every one of us, just not for us, just for every one of us. And God sent us to come together and make this show wonderful and beautiful. And this is how everything it works. Everything go around and come around. Good thing always happened to us. And we promise you guys we're going to do better in the following year. And we want everything successful in Florida. Any question, give us a call. 561-309-4301 or... 407 407- 2420619. Me and my brother, so mom, teach me very well how to get along. So come and join us right here, guy. Uh, thank you all. And, and hopefully happy. next year it's yes. going to be even happy better. Happy to hear yes. that you're, next you're planning already be even next better. year. Yes. All right. Yes. Everyone's already like, are you guys doing two shows next year? We haven't talked about that one yet. <laughs> okay. All right. You're going to be at Orchids in Bloom uh, in uh, March. Three weeks? Spring. Yep. Four weeks spring. from now. Eight, eight um, nine, March, and ten. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. March, eight, so we'll nine, see you both yes. there. Come and see us in Apopka, guy. March, eight, eight, nine, ten. We're going right? to be there. Yeah. Thank you so there. much. All righty. So we're here almost at the end of the video. This is for the Orlando International Orchid Show and Sale Springtime. This will be held March 8th through the 10th um, this year, Friday to Saturday, 9 to 5. This is in Orchids in Bloom. 2001 Rock Spring Road in Apopka, Florida, 32712. And we'll be there on the Saturday. Yes. So please con- uh, come join us. Yes. We love talking to you subscribers. We met so many subscribers today, yes. and viewers, and we love the feedback and the conversations we have. So please subscribe, um, keep watching our videos. Uh, we are growing and growing in views. That's very important, yeah. okay? It's not only subscribers, it's the views. So please watch, watch, watch for as long as you can. We're getting a great, great time, um, watch time. And um, so, yeah, share. A lot of subscribers, yeah. a lot of watching, a lot of uh, shares, a lot of uh, uh, views, a lot, a lot of everything. And a lot of love. Yes. Right. And this is another show that um, will, it's a Nature Coast or Orchid Society. And this is on April 13th through the 14th. And we will put the information on the address. Once again, I want to say, just like my husband said, please leave a comment, share, subscribe. And if you haven't done so, please do subscribe. It does help the channel out. And always remember to Click that little bell. It'll remind you every time that we upload a video. Thank you again. And we had a great time on the show. It was Beautiful wonderful. Show. Beautiful show. Great, right. great show. First time ever here in Wellington. And it came out perfect. And again, we will see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.